Full disclosure, Game Theory Group is an investor and partner in Themis Network. However, this review is a honest and critical look at Themis's infrastructure. As always, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Hey guys, it's Eric with the Blockchain Brief here to talk to you about Themis Network, a recently launched project that is doing a decentralized escrow service on a blockchain. So the issue at hand is called Fair Exchange. And what it means is if I'm in an online marketplace and I want to buy a product, it would be my good interest. I want to make sure I get that product and I don't want to make a payment unless I know that I have that product shipped to me. On the seller side though, I the seller would want to make sure that they get paid before they ship the product. Uh, ideally, both of these would happen at the same time, but there's no way to know. What if the seller backs out from shipping the item so most of the decentralized exchanges have a multi-signature scheme, which essentially is an, uh, an extra wallet where if I make a transaction between a buyer and a seller, those funds get deposited into that escrow wallet, and that has two signatures. So I have to sign it, and the seller has to sign it for that transaction to occur. Oftentimes, a third signature is generated, which is given to a trusted third party in case there's a dispute between the buyer and the seller. So if a buyer tries to back out of the agreement or if the seller tries to back out of the agreement, you can have two of the three signatures used to sign the escrow wallet to unlock the funds. So this way you don't need the cooperation of all three, you can do best two out of three basically. And the issue with third parties in uh, these smart contracts, these escrow wallets, is that you can have denial of service attacks where the third party doesn't do anything and therefore the funds are locked in that wallet in case there is a dispute. Uh, also collusion, so even worse, if I as the buyer want to back out, I can go and make a deal with the trusted third party to say, hey, agree my way and unlock the funds and then bring it back to me. So let's get into the architecture of Themis. Themis is going to be its own blockchain called Themis Chain and it's going to issue a token called GET. That's the global escrow token. The way that the blockchain is set up is so that it becomes this decentralized escrow service where you have buyers and sellers depositing their money into an escrow wallet and you have a third group of people called mediators that are in case of a dispute they're called to action by the blockchain to vote on this dispute which way the funds should go. Because Themis is its own blockchain, it needs a consensus mechanism. And that consensus mechanism that they decided to go with is called deposited proof of stake and reputation. What that means is that if a peer wants to be a delegate, then they need to have they need to pay some get token, deposit it into the system, and they also are chosen based off of their uh, reputations. Delegates get rewarded for upkeeping the chain in GET tokens, and if you act maliciously, if a delegate acts maliciously, then the deposit is confiscated by Themis Chain. So nodes in Themis Chain participate in dispute resolution, but they also participate in rating each other, giving each other reputation for other nodes that have been part of dispute resolutions in the past. So there's two ways that disputes will be settled in Themis Chain. One is through an oracle and a smart contract, and two is through a majority vote by the mediators. So in the smart contract oracle uh, method, if there is some kind of external output that can verify whether or not the product was delivered, then that is taken care of on its own. Right? You could prove it and it will automatically execute. However, in many cases, you can't tell. Like, I can say that something was shipped, but I could be lying about it. In which case, you leave it up to the mediators to decide, uh, through a majority vote, whether or not this transaction or this person is lying, whether or not this actually went through. So you don't need the cooperation of the losing party to recover the keys to then claim the funds. The biggest question for them is whether or not this is the kind of thing that could be done on Ethereum directly uh, through a mix of smart contracts. Going into the GitHub, you have the Themis Chains contract, which was updated 13 days ago, 
Uh, yeah, the theme is www. The website go Ethereum, which is just a fork of uh, the Ethereum protocol. They're probably messing around with. You have a C++ Ethereum client. The theme is token contract. The theme is OTC platform, which was last updated in December. You also have uh, you also have Bread Wallet Android and Bread Wallet iOS, both forked from the original projects. That's pretty much it for the GitHub. Most of these projects were not updated since December. The only one that got a recent update was the Themis Chains contract, which was updated 13 days ago. It's a little concerning that there's no, doesn't seem to be active development, but maybe as the testnet approaches in June, we'll see some more developments on, on that, and we'll see more public facing developments. Yeah, so in summary, Themis Network is basically taking an escrow wallet where buyers and sellers are putting their funds, but instead of having one third party or one trusted third party that would help settle a dispute between a buyer and a seller, it would put that dispute up to a network of mediators who would vote on which way the dispute should be settled to. It is very valuable to have a decentralized escrow service uh, on any chain really just for digital currencies in general but yeah honestly I think the biggest thing is whether or not the value proposition is different enough that it needs to be its own blockchain uh, this kind of thing I think could be implemented in smart contracts on Ethereum network itself or any other big network keep an eye out for similar developments on Ethereum itself if someone figures out how to do that mediator system that Themis needs its own blockchain for on Ethereum itself, I think it, this project could be in danger because it's a lot to ask of people to maintain a whole separate blockchain and then to actively participate in that blockchain as mediators. I know you get rewarded, I know there's like incentives, but everything's an opportunity cost. So like the time that could be spent curating and voting and tweaking and pruning one network could be used to prune another network so you really have to vie for that person or though all those people's time and attention I think that's gonna be another issue that Themis could run into uh, is curating that community of people that are just like volunteering their time voting on whether or not this dispute should go to the buyer or the seller if you want to learn more about the project definitely go into the white paper take a look more at the how exactly the mediators can collectively recover a key of an uncooperative party to unlock the funds. It's really interesting stuff. It's a lot to cover in just one video, but we might go more into it later as we see more uh, development happen. All right, so that's two blockchain videos and two all-nighters. We're two for two. If you guys have any recommendations or suggestions on a project that you guys want looked at, uh, we'd be happy to feature it in the blockchain brief. Americ from the blockchain brief signing off.